Merv was the most professionally um, well-organized, business-like, skilled, mm. superb businessman, as the world learned. Mm. He just became a major tycoon. Uh, Merv was vastly wealthy. Uh, I, I remember the first sign I ever saw of his interest in money <laughs> was uh, when Dave Lloyd, Pat McCormick, and I were the Merv Griffin writing staff of his daytime show. And he had us in one day, it seemed like on the weekend, mm. to talk about a possible game show and mm. have us, um, as an ad agency, one man said to me once ineptly, just bullshitting off the top of my head. If that isn't a mixed metaphor, I don't know what it is, uh, and an unpleasant image. Um, during which I said, Mer, what's in this for us? And there was a moment comparable to when Laurence Olivier and Richard III looks down in a memorable close-up at the little prince he's going to murder. <laughs> and I, and Merv said, well, how could I know that, Dick? Uh, I, it was one of several times when I managed to jeopardize mine and maybe the people around me's job. Jeopardize. But I liked Merv. <laughs> jeopardize. Oh, good going. Go to the head of the class. Right. Uh, yeah, in fact, I think this is, have you noticed that on Jeopardy it says created by Merv Griffin? Mm -hmm. I swear Merv said once, forgive me Merv, um, that he was on a plane with his wife, Julianne, and mm -hmm. she said, why don't they do a show where they ask the question and answer mm -hmm. in the other mm -hmm. direction? Mm -hmm. and, and then Merv said, I said, what do you mean? And she said, well, you know, Abe Lincoln and what president was assassinated. Mm -hmm. um, I think Julianne invented it. I don't know if Julianne is still with us. I think she, I'm pretty sure she is, and it's, I hope she gets a nice piece of change out of it. Um, yeah, Merv was a, it, very nice to work for, easy to work for, appreciated the material, did it, and I owe so much to him because I was not considered ready for the Tonight Show when they came down to see me at the bitter end in the village doing my stand-up act, where I was moonlighting while working for Johnny. So the fun was to come back to work the next day and Johnny and I could laugh about how I bombed the night before. <laughs>